Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that fairly green day in the stock market. Coinbase acting very volatile up 9% today. It was as high as 15%. We have Rivian who was up around 7% today after reporting earnings is now down 9% from highs and 7.5% after hours. We're going to be going over Rivian earnings, what happened there. As a Tesla investor or electric vehicle investor in general, it's important to know these things and see stay on top of it. Because if we scroll down, we can actually see that they did beat on their earnings expectations. Yes, they did come at a huge negative EPS, but they did beat expectations, yet the stock price is down. So let's dive into this video and see what that could mean for Tesla stock and other electric vehicle stocks alike. Okay, so here we see a good article on Rivian. We see a, in 2023, the production well below estimates. Recall with over 12,000 vehicles. Wow, and remember, they only delivered around 24,000 this year. So that's already 50% of a recall, which explains why the stock's down and Tesla investors don't really have to worry too much. However, let's dive a little bit deeper, see if there's anything else that we need to worry about. This is Rivian's Third recall announcement since going public in 2021. This one was due to an issue with a sensor in the front passenger seatbelt system. However, the company believes fewer than 100 vehicles will require a part being replaced. So it's more of just a software update, which isn't a big deal. In October, it recalled about 13,000 cars due to a potential issue that could cause a driver to lose control of the steering, which is extremely concerning way more than just a seatbelt sensor. The company said it's targeting production of 50,000 cars this year compared with analyst estimates of 67,000 units. Okay, so you can see that the guidance is significantly lower than expected. Only 50,000 instead of 67,000. And the reason why Rivian says we expect supply chain challenges to persist into 2023 but with better predictability relative to what was experienced in 2022, the company said, okay, the Irvine, California-based company also reported lower than expected fourth quarter revenue as the electric vehicle firm delivered far fewer vehicles than, it's per than it produced. Rivian produced 24,000 vehicles in 2022, slightly short of its target of 25,000, and they only missed it by around, by around a 600 uh, delivery. So that has to be totally frustrating if you miss the mark by that small. However, it delivered only 20,000 cars last year. Revenue for the quarter ended December 31st, stood at $663 million, compared with analyst estimates of $740 million, Okay, which was a huge miss on revenue. They did beat on the EPS, but they gave bad guidance, they had the recall, and they also missed on revenue. So overall, if we look at Rivian stock, we can see that they're still down 38% in the past three months, 71% in the past year, and they IPO'd at $106 per share. Now currently sitting at $17 per share. Personally, I'm staying away from Rivian Automotive. If they drop to under $10 per share, I'll be revisiting the stock at that price point. So for now, I'll put 1150 on the stock price. Some people think that Rivian makes a nice looking car so they could have a space in the electric vehicle in the electric vehicle game. However, being a successful business has a lot more to do than just how something looks or the attractiveness of the product. All right, just to do a recap and to also go over what's to come this week, Tuesday, we had Norwegian and Target reporting. After the close, we had Rivian and AMC. AMC didn't really move much. Okay, Wednesday, before the open tomorrow, we have Neo, Lowe's, Wendy's. We also have Kohl's and Jack in the Box. Moving on to Wednesday after the close, we have Salesforce and Snowflake. Thursday, before the open, we have Best Buy, Macy's, Kroger, and then after the close, we have a big stock that everyone's watching, uh, Costco Wholesale. So that's a huge, huge one to keep an eye out for. We also have ChargePoint reporting and Nordstrom. We have AMC with a slight beat on their EPS, on their earnings. They're down 6.4% on the day. Intraday, they had a down 16% movement. 
After hours, they were up around 5%, but they've decided to cool off now. We can see that they did slightly beat with their EPS coming at negative 14 cents, which was predicted was negative 21 cents. We can also see that AMC beat Wall Street Estimates fourth quarter revenue on Tuesday, lifted by moviegoers flocking to its theaters during the holiday season. Revenue for the quarter was $990.9 million, compared to analyst expectations of $977 million. Okay, so they had a double beat. Not only did they beat on their revenue, but they also beat on their EPS. So that's why the stock was up after hours. Now we are going to be going over Costco in one of the next videos. I wanted to keep this video nice and short, so make sure you're subscribed with post notifications on YouTube so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Okay, so now if you want to join my close friends list, by the way, where you can see what I'm buying, what I'm selling, options, strike price, expiration dates, and join all the success stories with the program, go ahead and click on success number seven. Read through all the most recent success stories. If you go all the way to the right, you'll go to the most recent ones. Tons of success has been happening this week, last week, and all month long. So if you want to join the action, just shoot me a message on Instagram at the Daily Stock Market to join. Now 194,000 followers. We're going to hit that huge milestone of 200,000 followers soon. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We also have almost 700 posts. We've been doing this for such a long time. And thank you guys for wh whoever been here for years and years and years. And since I've uploaded my first video and stuck with that long and share with their family and friends and their family and friends have benefited from my videos also. Thank you guys for that. If you want to join, message me on Instagram. I'll shoot you over some information to get you started. Now's the time to make 2023 your year of stock market success. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.